Research from the Imperial College of London may help conquer the classic drone conundrum, how can you power a drone without weighing it down with a battery? Longer drone flight times, without additional weight. Most automatons you can purchase typically have an operation time of around 10 to 40 minutes contingent upon the extent of the automaton and the limit of the battery. In a perfect world, one needs to develop the flight operation time without including an excessive weight to the automaton, which would bring about a shorter flight time. This is an issue that automaton administrators have been confronting for a long while. It's additionally intrigued a few analysts in finding an answer. Dr. Samer Aldeher, an exploration relate at the Imperial College of London working with the Wireless Power Lab has been inquiring about remote power exchange frameworks with the point of controlling an automaton through remote charging. It isn't enchantment, the automaton gets the power required to take off, work, and charge itself from a charging piece specifically underneath it. His paper, distributed by IEEE and co-composed by David C. Yates and Paul D. Mitchison, Subtle Elements The Development of the Class EF2 Inverter Utilized as a Part of the Tech While this is a tremendous jump in what could be the following driving technique for flying automatons, there are still a significant number of missing pieces to get this innovation taking a shot at a more noteworthy scale. In the wake of viewing the video, you may see that the automaton is confined to just drifting over the remote power transmitter underneath it. Dr. Aldeher has made sense of how to get it operational remotely, however just for around 5 crawls over the power transmitter base. In the event that the automaton flies out of the transmitting range, it will lose its energy and stop. In any case, this is a fabulous deed of defeating the requirement for onboard batteries. The following is a photo of Aldeher's setup of both the automaton and the power transmitter. The F inverter. Since you have a fundamental comprehension of the idea, how about we look somewhat further top to bottom of how this idea really functions. The transmitting circle that is marked as transmitter PCB loop is really scratched onto a printed circuit board, consequently the name PCB. From an outlet or power generator, power is changed over into higher occurrence rotating current, AC, by the transmitter. From that point, this higher occurrence AC streams into the transmitter loop and will produce a wavering attractive field. Here is the great part. The attractive field is moved into the air and will incite into the beneficiary curl. Once the vitality from the attractive field actuates AC into the beneficiary loop, it is then that it can be changed over again into direct present, DC, by the recipient. The DC power can then give energy to the gadget, the automaton, for this situation. Copper is an amazing conduit of power in light of the fact that the valence electrons are free and repulse each other firmly enough that it will bring about a version of different electrons. Basically, the power is constrained down the bit of copper. While it won't permit you to fly a far separation, this innovation opens up another window of chance for what's to come. Regardless of just flying five crawls over the power transmitter, there's a great deal of complex hardware foundation required in getting this headed to fly without requiring locally available batteries. In the event that steps in remote charging proceed on this level, from both scholastics like Professor Aldeher and from automaton lovers, I'm certain soon this innovation available to us.